Hello everyone and welcome back to Metroid Fusion. My name is Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman, and it seems like we're just about at the end of the game. However, there's something that I feel we need to do. We're missing a lot of power-ups. Based off of my energy bar up there on the top left of the screen, there's a lot of energy tanks we can get, and probably more missile upgrades and power bombs as well. And seeing as how there are screw attack locations all over the station, and we did just get the screw attack, I think we're going to do one solid episode, at least, of just going and exploring. Not to be too much of a tease or anything, but, I mean, there's just, there's a lot that we haven't found, you know? So I want to check it out. I want to see what we can find, and I want to go from there. So, to be methodical about this, we're going to go all the way to the right, we're going to go to Sector 6, and we're just going to make our way left across the area. And we're just going to see what we can find, because I don't remember where all of the screw attack areas are. But we're certainly going to try to find out. Oh. Maybe I'm... Not allowed? To do that? <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> uh... Hmm... But we only just got the screw attack, and when we got out is when all of this stuff popped off, so how are we supposed to go around and explore? Hmm... I feel like I'm being denied an opportunity here. Hold on. We'll check Sector 4 here, and we'll just see what that entails. Yeah, because there's like stuff in here that we didn't get the chance to find either, and we would need the screw attack for that. So let's just see. Let's see if it lets me leave. No! Well, hmm. <clears throat> okay, maybe we're not as close to the end of the game as I thought we were then. Very well, I guess our only option is to move forward. And we'll see what happens from there. So, never mind! Never mind! Well, that means we need to go up to the main deck and we need to try and set the explosives, which, again, feels very end-of-game final scenario to me, but who am I to judge? Maybe there's some surprises waiting around the corner yet. Alright, well, that's where we have to go. There's no way it's going to be that easy to get there, though. Unless we're going to have to, like, fight the Federation or something, maybe. And that's, like, part two, but... It feels like we've already made some pretty solid forward progress to have a part two be something that happens. Can we go up from here? Yeah. Yep. Not up to the left, though. This way. Okay. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. You know what, we should probably save while we're over here. Never hurts to get some extra save on. So much of the station we have to run back through to get here, jeez. Yeah, there's no way it's gonna be this easy. Maybe like, oh, maybe the SIX is gonna blow it up or something. So we have to like go manually set the controls in like all the other zones or something like that. How much you want to bet that's what happens? That's probably what it is. I bet that's what it is. Oh shit! Ah! You want a mess, son? Oh, boy. So I can hurt it with the screw attack. Oh, my God. Look at this. 
Yeah, I don't like that, do you? Where are you? Ah! Ah! Damn! Okay, okay, okay. All right, cool. Now I know what to expect. And I have to hit it with a fully charged plasma shot. Maybe missiles? I didn't think to try that. We'll try a few other attacks. I'm just amazed at how much more damage we take in this game. Like, you compare it to Super, and just, oh my lord. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll try a power bomb, we'll try hitting it with a missile, and we'll see if either of those do anything, or if it's just going to be all charged lasers all the time. Yep, that didn't seem to do anything very well. Oh! Hello! Now there's a strat. Oh, unless it gets away from it. Oh, I really don't want to be here, though. Yeah, I just backed myself into a corner there. That was bad. Oh, I can't hurt it when it's screw attacking, of course. It really just is me, huh? Ah. Alright, well, it was worth the experimentation. It was worth the experimentation. I don't know if trying to freeze it is actually useful. Like, maybe if I need to get away, but the time between freezing it and charging up a shot is so narrow that it might not be worth really trying to do that on the regs. We'll see, though. We'll see. Interesting that we're able to freeze it, though. I wonder why that is. I guess... I don't remember Samus ever getting frozen in Super, so... Hmm. Maybe the freeze is just that strong? This is such a cool fight, though. I like this a lot. God, the fact that it reflexively, like, screw attack jumps over everything is so sick. Oh, God! It's, like, smart about where it goes, too. Ah! Yeah, I didn't like that, did you? Come here. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Oh, it's angry. Ah, oh, damn it. God, how many times do I have to hit it? Probably a lot. What? They hit me through the floor. Bastard. Oh, it's like having trouble maintaining its, like, form, I think. Although, I'm also dying. Oh my god! Oh, it's tough. It's very tough. Okay. Hmm. Having only two buttons to work with in terms of charging and jumping is definitely rough as well. Like, if it was... 
I guess I could remap my controls. That's actually an idea. That's actually an idea. All right, we'll try this one more time. The proper way, but I could remap my controls so that, like, my laser's on my trigger. And then I could be, like, jumping and whatever while holding the trigger and then releasing, you know? Hmm. That's an idea, actually. So where does it even... It must come out of here, huh? Actually, hold up. Is that closed off now? I guess it is, so you can't, like, try to escape from it. That makes sense. Alright, SAX. It's, it comes at you so aggressively, it's kind of freaky. Which, I mean, is definitely the intended effect, I'm sure, where you're gonna come from. Oh, damn it! <laughs> it's so good at chasing you with the space jump. Oh, it's so... Oh, it's awesome. Damn it. Come on. Oh, and underneath. Where are you going to go, bud? Where are you going to go? God, hearing the stippy steps. Oh, it's, it was over there. Interesting. Ow. Yeah, it's not a good spot for me. You can always catch me there, it seems. Yeah, I'm getting you now. I'm quicker on the draw than you are. Damn it. Damn it. No, stop running into it, man. That was bad. Come on. Whoa! 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 Okay, hold up. What in the goddamn? Okay, this just turned into a whole different kettle of fish. Whoa, it's got the ice beam. Why can't I hurt it? I guess I am hurting it? I'm like knocking ah parasites off of it. But it sure doesn't seem like I'm hurting it. Missiles maybe? Oh there we go. That felt good. There we go, yep. Not quite the angle that I wanted there. Yeah, let's go! Get up there. Did it run? Where did it go? I guess it went through there? What the hell? What a fight. Wait, I can chase it? Hold up. Why am I able to go back through here? If that's my target, why am I able to go this way? Can I run it down and kill it? No. Interesting. Huh. Very strange. There wasn't some, some something I could bomb up here, was there? No. Huh. 
What a fight, man. That was so cool. Well, it's certainly not dead, which is going to be a problem. Operations room. Look at this. All right, what do we got going on here? Destination, planet SR388. Propulsion sequence activated. Oh boy. Destination, planet SR388. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, yeah, like... We're at the end game. When do I get the chance to explore with the screw attack? Did I just miss my opportunity completely? I don't know how else I was supposed to leave Sector 1, though. Huh. Okay. Well, here we go. Dun 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 Go, baby, go! Come on, go down. You know, very leisurely ride down. Turn to ship immediately, evacuate station. Okay, I mean... There's no way this succeeds. There's no way. I'm gonna be really sad if I just missed my opportunity to go explore. Am I able to hit the recharge room? Hell yeah, I am. Stock me up, baby! Let's go! Dun 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 Yeah, this is a throwback. Do 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 can't save. Nothing's appearing to stop me yet. Do 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 Bum, 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 bum. Oh yeah, look at this. Yep, look at this. Oh yeah. Yeah, things are about to get real. Oh no, my ship! Did my ship get eaten? What happened? Uh oh. Oh lord! What the hell are you? Oh. Wow, I just got slapped. Uh... What? Wait, what? Oh, check it out! Let's go! It's like it's... Uh, it's, it's a Metroid, I guess. Oh lord, oh lord. How are you supposed to... Okay... Oh really, I gotta go through the whole thing again, huh? Really? I'd love to have more health for this, man. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to look up if I'm at, like, some sort of point to no return here. One second. One second. And we're back. So, I did some digging, and I'm very frustrated to learn that, yes, in fact, there is a point of no return, and I did, in fact, pass it uh, after talking to Adam by going up the elevator. Apparently, I got locked out of doing any more exploring. So I'm not able to get any more E-tanks, I'm not able to get any more missiles, power bombs, whatever. And I mean, uh, the main thing that I would like to be able to get would be the E-tanks, but unfortunately, that is uh, not something that I'm allowed to do at this point, apparently. So this is what we got. So we're gonna go fight the SIX again, and then we're gonna go fight the... Metroid thing, I guess, with the very suit and the freeze shot, and hopefully figure out how to kill it, which uh, seemed to be a little bit 
of a challenge, because I'm not sure how you're supposed to shoot its belly without getting swiped, but we'll see. There we go. Now it's need to not get touched by it as it becomes really spooky really fast. There it goes. God, it hurts. Oh, what was that shot? Oh, come on. <sighs> All right, one second. Okay, thank God that's over with again. Oh, I'm getting frustrated now because I'm annoyed about the point of no return thing. I wasn't expecting that. Propulsion sequence All right, let's see if we can actually figure out how to kill this thing. Get that charge up. So interesting, like, the X-Parasite doesn't necessarily come in to help us, which is kind of a parallel to what happened with the baby Metroid at the end of Super. But what it did come in to do was try and kill its natural enemy, which I guess is the Metroids, right? Because, like, we've seen them fighting each other now, I guess, twice in the station. And then once it gets knocked out of its, like, various suit form, we're then able to absorb it, get a version of the various suit back, get the ice beam, and try and fight the thing. But, like, I'm still not sure exactly how one is supposed to do that.
I guess these are Metroid egg sacks things? Yeah, because the missiles can't hurt it. And then, yep, here comes the X-Parasite. Then it gets swiped. I guess just do this. One one shock I didn't get out. Yeah, okay, that's the way to do it. Ow. Yeah, it's gotta be quick. Oh boy. Losing space to operate here. Come on, die! I don't know if we're going to be able to kill this thing in time, man. Ugh. Come on. Oh my god. We've almost got it. But, like, our ship is gone anyway, so, like... Oh, my God. Come on! Ugh. We'll be back. Alright, let's do it! Damn it! Come on! Why are we not hitting it? Why are we not hitting it? Ow. Well, that's not good. Wow, that gave me, like, no extra space. What the hell? Oh, now I've got the rhythm. Now I've got the rhythm. Man, this sure is a final boss, huh? Ow. Why are we suddenly looking down, game? Come on. Come on, just die. Dude, come on, get up, get up. Oh my god, come on! Just die! Oh. Come on, ship. Hurry, ship. Hurry. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Get me the hell out of here. Okay, wow. Huh. That perfect military mind. The wisdom of Adam Malkovich continued to serve even after death. 
Until today, I had no idea that the minds of leaders and scientists were frequently uploaded to computers. My incredible reunion with Adam may have saved the universe. But how will the beings of the universe view our resolve? I doubt they will understand what we did, the danger we barely averted. They will hold tribunals and investigations. They will hold us responsible. Adam understood this, and he spoke to me in my anger. Do not worry. One of them will understand. One of them must. I've reflected upon his words, and I see the wisdom in them. We are all bound by our experiences. They are limits of our consciousness. But in the end, the human soul will ever reach for the truth. This is what Adam taught me. Just one detail still bothers me. This ship can only be started manually, yet before I faced the Omega Metroid, oh, I guess that's what that was, the ship moved on its own, guided by someone's hands. Is it possible? Adam? Hmm, like his spirit or whatever? Lady, what's troubling you? You wonder how I started the ship? Just think about it. They lent me a hand. They. They? Who's they? Oh, the little dudes! Oh, that's so cool! The little guys! He told them how to do it! Or he told them how to do it. So cool! Okay. Alright, alright. I have a lot of feelings about how that wrapped up there. Um... Oh, man. <sighs> well, you know what? Let's, let's let the credits roll, and then I can muse a little bit. And then I can muse. <sighs> okay. Oh, cool, we get to see, like, our item completion and everything, which is not gonna be good! I'm sure. Clear time. Five hours and 42 minutes. Rate for collecting items is... 57%, yeah. <laughs> Bah, bad, bad, bad. See you next mission. Yep, see you next mission. Oh, so, man, okay. All right. I really like this game. However, The ending kind of kills it for me a bit. And honestly, the like, the biggest part is this. 
right here, what we're looking at. The rate for collecting the items is 57%. I was completely unprepared to get locked out of being able to go and get the rest of the items. Because I knew, I knew that we were going to need the screw attack. Like, we saw so many different areas where the screw attack was necessary for us to be able to go and get all of the items. Or not even all the items. Like, I'm not a completionist, but there was a bunch of stuff that I wanted to go explore, a bunch of stuff that I wanted to go get. And... Not being able to do that was frustrating. Like, I want to know what was in those areas. And the fact that the way the game is set up, like, it will lock the doors behind you and you can save and everything before you even realize what's happened. That kind of sucks. That really sucks. Like, I don't know if we would have gotten different ending CGs, if we would have seen, like, you know, different versions of Samus. Like, I had Samus take her helmet off at the end of Super, and I know that, like, after looking it up, I know that that is not the best ending, but it is a quote-unquote better ending, a more complete ending. And so I wish I had had the opportunity to do that here. But um, other than that, the fight with the SIX was really cool. I really liked that. <coughs> the fight with the Omega Metroid was uh, really lame. <laughs> <laughs> Which I feel bad saying, because I think the game is really, really, really cool overall, and there's a lot of things I like about it, but um, that fight against the Omega Metroid felt kind of derivative of the fight against Mother Brain at the end of Super. Espe like, especially with the whole, like, oh, the last-minute power-up with a, a being that we've been fighting this whole time, but that then comes in and helps us save the day. <sighs> but, like, it wasn't even, like, a big dramatic fight at the end like okay we got the ice beam and just like ran back and forth shooting him once in the tummy and then getting out of the way of his claw that would then knock us down for a second and take critical time off and just go dancing back and forth like that like <laughs> after the big escape sequence and everything like ah i don't know i don't know i didn't like anything about that unfortunately but but as much as I didn't like that, the rest of the game was really awesome. There's some things that were frustrating, and I might even do a video talking about this and Super comparing them. That's something I've actually been musing about as I've been coming up on the end of the game. So maybe I'll save more thoughts for then. But yeah, that's my initial impression of where we're at right now. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else to see here? Oh, maybe there is. Maybe? No, it just brings us back to the main menu. Okay. Oh! What is this? Continue or start over? Uh... Hold on. I'm gonna copy this just in case. Continue? Okay, so this, that puts us back here. And then maybe like... Oh! Oh! Okay, so look at that. It actually shows us now. Cool. So it actually shows how many E-tanks and missiles and power bomb upgrades we've gotten and how many there are to get. And it shows our completion time. Interesting. Okay. So it gives us the opportunity to go back, which is cool. But, like, I've already beaten the game at this point, you know? And yeah, for you guys who are completionists out there and everything and want to run through and get everything, like, this is a nice thing to be able to do, but, eh. Like, for me, the game's done, you know? If I was going to go back through and do stuff again, like, I would want to do a completely new game. Which I guess maybe is what Start Over is? Here, hold on, let's see. Let's see. So if we go Start Over... That does bring us to the beginning, but does it keep all of our power-ups? Here, I'm, I'm gonna speed past this stuff, one second. Okay, yeah, and so if we start over... Huh. Okay, so we can start over... But because we're on a complete file, 
it'll actually tell us how many things we have and what our current, like, or what our completion time is. Okay. Okay, cool. Interesting. Well, that, that is interesting, and I, so, I guess this is very indicative that the way the game is set up is that they intend for you to finish it once, and then go back through again for replay value, I guess, and re-experience everything. But, to me, that's not very compelling. I'm sure a lot of you guys out there like it, but... Uh, yeah, that's not for me, I don't think. But All of that said, though, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments. I will probably be doing this as a premiere, so I imagine I'll be chatting with you guys in the actual video chat as well. So we can discuss things there as we go. But this has been fun. This has been fun. There's been good things, there's been bad things, just like with Super. But overall, I'm happy to have done it. And it was pretty quick, which was nice. That was nice, too. Thank you all so much for watching. I do very much appreciate it. If you know someone that you think would enjoy this series, or any of my other series, if you could shoot them a link, that'd just be swell. Also, if you haven't already, a like and a sub are very much appreciated. They're what allow the channel to keep growing, allow me to keep putting out content, and give us more people that we can all talk to. But with all that said, I hope you all have a good night, stay safe and healthy out there, and remember, be good to each other. Bye now.